she said i'm going to speak to my mom today Ho hopefully he leaves soon because he likes to be in everyone's business and i don't have time for his mess i'll kind of see where her head is at because right now i know a lot more than she does and i can see she's hurt but doesn't want to say or do anything so if she ends up reaching out to you again then it'll most likely be some time after i speak to her she's a really sweet and kind-hearted woman so it wouldn't be anything crazy but just a heads up and something to look out for Thank God she has her daughters to advocate for her. Like, thank God she has her daughters. Because, like, knowing this, it makes me just feel so insignificant. Like, I was just another notch on that man's belt. And it hurts. It really hurts. Like, reading about another woman's pain, and it pertains to someone that I was in a relationship with. It's like, where do you place your feelings? I feel terrible for her, but then I also feel fucking terrible for myself. Like, they've been doing this for over a decade. I just met him in September and we became official in October. The shit hurts, the shit fucking sucks. It does, I can't deny it. I can't deny it at all. Like, so, I was in a relationship with you, but you were not in a relationship with me. That means everything you ever promised me, everything you ever told me was a complete, total fucking lie. All of it. I don't understand why he thought he had to do this, or why he even chose me to fuck over. Like, you didn't think I had anything better to do with the rest of my life? Like, how do you have the nods that somebody just came out of something very traumatic, and you're like... I'm gonna make that bitch way worse. Let me go fuck around in her life. And then I'm a bitch and complain when she retaliates. I said, of course, she really deserves the world and more. He said they were engaged before. Why didn't he ever marry her? I know she doesn't want to marry him. That was the real question. I know why she didn't want to marry him. I would never marry that man. So I could be legally bound by you? And I make more money than you, so if we do get divorced, I gotta pay you? And you gonna still cheat? Yeah. Yeah. I'm positive. She does not want to marry that man, and that's the reason why they haven't been married. She said because he was cheating the whole time. God damn. How did you guys... No shade, because I understand, like... I understand messy, messy relationships, but how did you even sleep together after all of this shit going on? The whole time? She says, I think he just sold her a dream. He knows that she wants to get married and have a family, and he prayed on that. And when she was starting to think about leaving, he proposed. See... And this plays into the reasons as to why me and Asmodeus even matched on BlackPeopleMeet.com. This man is selling women lies. That explains why he said he wanted a long-term relationship that resulted in marriage. So he can get all the benefits. And he knows this is what certain people want to hear. He knows that, like, that's the reason i'm sorry it might sound stupid but yeah i went on blackandmeet.com to go find my husband <sighs> yo you just wasted almost a year of my life and time and you're not my fucking husband like you just robbed the dating world of me i could have been with somebody else not getting fucked over I said, who says that? And then really wonders why his life is trash. That's disgusting. That man just wants a place to live and food. She said, which is why I don't understand why he doesn't move, move in with his mother. She has a couch, he will be perfectly fine. 
As Moody is his 6'2", he gonna have his ankles dangling off of the damn couch. <laughs> Unless it's a sectional, I don't think he's gonna fit. <laughs> well, buckle up, little bitch, because that's exactly where you're probably at right fucking now. Because these messages were prior to his daughter's birthday. His daughter's birthday was August 9th. And that's why I spent the last two weeks putting out teasers and I didn't upload any actual video videos, you know, going into depth and detail until midnight of August 10th. I, I purposely waited until midnight. I respected the request not to, you know what I mean? But when midnight hit, and I set an alarm on my phone and everything. Like, I was sitting up here on my Facebook, my TikTok, my Instagram, and my YouTube channel, making sure that this content got out at midnight. She said, then again, he might starve because she doesn't cook every day and he can't cook. No, he can't. No, he can't. I said, laughing my ass off. The last time he spent the night with me, I made him sleep on the living room floor. Oh my God, I'm actually not proud of that. I don't really remember. Did I make him sleep on the living room floor or did he choose to sleep on the living room floor? Whatever, it doesn't really fucking matter. He lucky he got to sleep on my damn living room floor. I said, I hope she rejects him moving in. He told me for our first date, he owned the houses in California and New Jersey. She says, me too, honestly, but he might just find another woman to leech off of and I wouldn't wish that on anyone. That man didn't pay rent in California either. Ain't no way I'm gonna put your black ass on a fucking plane fleeing the damn state from a- There's just no fucking way. There's just no fucking way. See, I'm not saying or trying to imply that I'm better on standing on business than anybody else. What I'm saying is there would be assault charges. There would be assault and battery charges. I can't function through that kind of shit you blatantly just disrespecting somebody that is has rescued you time and time again? Yeah, no, I know that this would result in us going to court for assault and battery. And I would definitely probably be threatening the man too. So like, yeah. It's not to say that I don't believe that man would ever do that to me. That's not the case. I'm, he has no shame in what he does and who he does it to. I'm just saying that my background check would be very, very questionable. So you didn't pay any rent in California, but put your happy ass on a plane to flee the danger and a self-created fucking problem because you can't keep your dick in your pants and you moved all the way to New Jersey with your family just to still be a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, that's insanity. The idea that Asmodeus could, would ever be, a half decent human being is insanity. It's just pure insanity.